Easter stuff and today I'm going to be sharing one of our favorite family traditions for the holidays. This works great actually all winter long but for us this is something that our grandma used to make and her house smelled amazing when you would walk in on Thanksgiving or Christmas Eve or Christmas Day and it just brings back so many memories. So that's why I wanted to share it with you today. So this is grandma's warm spice cider. You're going to start with a gallon of apple cider. Now, I'm going to be cutting this recipe in half, so um, if you have a smaller crowd, you could do less. Um, you can easily double this recipe, whatever works for you. I'm just dumping it into a big stock pot um, because it does make so much and it simmers on your stove. Um, you need to let it simmer for at least 30 minutes, but it can go all day long. The other thing you can do is throw it in your crock pot and throw it in in the morning all day. It will just simmer and it gets better as it cooks. And like I said, your house will smell amazing. So the gallon of apple cider goes in there and then you're going to add all the spices, which make this what it is. So you're going to start with a quarter, let's see, a half cup of brown sugar. Now I just have cheesecloth laid out. Um, you can pick this up. I just got it at Hobby Lobby. Um, even grocery stores carry it because it's perfect um, for when you are doing spices and stuff like that. A lot of times you'll use this. Um, but like I said, Hobby Lobby and craft stores carry it too. So if you don't have cheesecloth, just use a really thin, clean cotton material and you can do the same thing. So you've got your quarter cup of brown sugar, or sorry, half cup of brown sugar, and then you're going to do a teaspoon of whole cloves. So you can see it's still the big piece of clove, and this is one of my favorite smells in the whole world. So throw those cloves on there, and then you're going to do some allspice. It's about a teaspoon of allspice. Put that on there. And then just a dash of nutmeg. You can do more or less. I did a little bit more because I like it. And then a quarter teaspoon of salt. So once you get those all on there, you want to bring your cheesecloth together. And it's kind of coming out, but that's okay. It's supposed to. From there, tie your string around. And then you'll just put this on your stove top on low. Like I said, you want it to simmer for at least 30 to 60 minutes. But I recommend going maybe four or five hours. So take your little cheese cloth and you're just going to throw it right in. And it will just kind of float on the top and then kind of let the spices out as it cooks all day. So when it's done cooking, you can ladle it out um, and it's perfect. My dad and his family used to go caroling every year. So this was a fun drink to come home to after they were done caroling and it's warm. So it just warms your bones on a cold chilly day. So you can ladle it out as much or as little as you like and you're good to go all winter long. For more yummy recipes like this one and other family traditions, be sure to check out sixsisterstuff.com.